Alright, hello, fun, and welcome to my new Fallout 4 mini series of Attack of the Lobotomites, where today I am quite excited to get started up on this rather new quest and adventure mod, which somehow brings the Lobotomites over here to the East Coast, which is worrisome and of course the main thrust of the quest line here is going to be exploring and investigating how that came to be and figuring out a way to deal with them which i would assume being lobotomites means just lots of bullets but we'll see who knows maybe there's a more intriguing way to deal with the whole situation we'll hopefully find out but honestly i think i'm most excited of what lore the mod maker will be adding in to explain how in the world they got here but, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm excited for this. Though there are, have oh I some issues I've already encountered with the mod, but I'll talk about those in a moment as we head towards where we need to go to start. Which, of course, to begin this uh, whole little quest and adventure mod, I've brought us over here to Somerville Place, and we've got to go southeast of here to a new locale over in the swamp, and upon entering is when we will get our actual quest. So let's head on southeastward and talk briefly about the issue I've been having. Oh boy, I tried to start up the uh, video a little while ago, but the building that we're heading to hasn't loaded correctly and is a little bit broken now thankfully thankfully after a lot of testing the inside is fine it's just the outside and i've tried a number of things to get this uh building fixed and it just doesn't seem to want to cooperate as you can see we've got some pillars and a um i don't know exactly what you would call that i was about to say roof but that's not a whole roof now is it <laughs> here but there's supposed to be walls and windows and all that sort of a thing here at the braintree mental rehabilitation center but for some reason um it's not there in its entirety which is strange but oh well like i said once we get inside it seems to be fine god i hope with my luck something further in is broken even worse but but like I said, I tried a lot of things, and in fact, I'm actually using the low-quality version of this mod. It comes in either high-quality or low-quality, and the high-quality one was worse. No matter what I tried, it, um, it had less of the building. <laughs> and there's even someone who's had this issue, too, on the mod page, and I followed the instructions to make sure the previous patch was, uh, you know, enabled. And, uh, yeah, no, that still didn't fix it for me. But again, the inside's fine, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna roll with it. The exterior of this building is one of the, uh, I'd say least important things, because we're gonna spend most of our time inside of it. But, uh, yeah, we are, of course, over here at the Brain Tree Mental Rehabilitation Center. So, um, yeah, let's see how that all goes. Ooh, hello. You are a dead raider? Can I loot you? Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Yeah, since I noticed the building, I didn't pay too much attention to what was around the building. Also, what is he stabbed with? Let's see if I can jump up to get that. Oh, is that a... Ooh, hello. We just got a duct tape cosmic knife spear that's dirty. Oh, no. Wait, is, um... Is the dust gonna come into this at some point? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm also never going to use this because Melee and Bethesda, meh. But we'll keep it. We got ourselves a duct tape cosmic knife spear. Nifty. I well, what else we got? It seems to have gotten darker, so let's turn on the light, see if there's any other corpses around, and see if maybe, oh, hello, there might be some lore as to why these guys are here and why they're dead. Oh, this one's a spiked leather wrap cosmic knife spear. Dirty. Damn, that's a long name. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's still investigate. Let's see if we can find something here. I'm open for some lore, but I have a feeling all of that's going to be inside. I don't know why there would be um, notes out here. But you never know. You never know. Let's check the corpses, make sure. And they're all raiders, though. No lobotomites. Yet. Oh, dude just had a tire iron. Hmm. Well, that didn't serve him well. Anything else over here? No, it does not appear to be the case. Oh, hello, corpse. Yeah, no notes. Ooh. 
Oh, that dude got stabbed a lot. <laughs> oh, hey, just a normal cosmic knife. Yoink. And I'll lose the... Oh, no, oh, jeez. <laughs> Looting caused them to jiggle, which meant all the physics for all these combat knives that were stuck in them <laughs> went weird. All right, nothing else of value. Anything down here? Not seeing anything. Is that a Jangles? Hi, Jangles. Oh, God, what? Oh, son of a... <laughs> hey, we found a Lobotomite. Hi, Lobotomite Slasher. Oh, God, you're only level 14. I may be over-leveled for this. Oh, oh I look pretty good. Certainly looks the part for a Lobotomite. I was intrigued to see... Uh, what all they were going to look like because the mod page did talk about all the new parts they had to make for this. Oh, hey, we can take out their synthetic pace sprinter heart for materials. Or their spine. Wow. Oh, we got Saturnite in that one? Nice. Got some cans, too. Then the Lamenter armor. Lovely. Lovely. Lame a bell? I, I guess it's a it's a punchy thing. Hmm. All right, nifty. All right, got a muzzle sack hood too. Jeez, a lot of stuff on here. A Saturnite table fork. That seems excessive to make a table fork out of Saturnite. <laughs> yeah, they actually do got a lot of a lot of parts here they put together. Nifty, and of course they're smoking after death. Lovely. Uh, what did I miss here? Oh yeah, stim pack. I was too focused on shooting the evil jangles. All right, well, I guess let's go inside now. The one bit of wall that successfully loaded. Good for you, wall. You did your best. <laughs> I still don't understand why the rest of this didn't. But again, thankfully, thankfully, it's fine inside. At least in the... Oh, wait, hold on, what? How do we get up there? Oh no, I have a feeling that something around here should have allowed us to climb up there, but it may be missing. Actually, maybe if we jump over there. Hold on a moment. I want to get up on this roof. <laughs> oh yeah, there's way up here. Okay, okay. Alright, we get up this. Then get up you. Oh, no, no, that didn't work. Okay, okay. Oop. Come on. Let's reload. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> oh crap. This is gonna this is gonna not go well for me, is it? Oh I mean we almost made it onto that bit of duct work there. God damn it. Oh. I need to know. <laughs> and there we go. I'll never be able to jump up there successfully, so meh. Okay, but obviously we are meant to get up here. Boy, can I stand on that? Let's uh, let's quick save just in case first. All right, I seem fine. Oh, I was kind of hoping again, maybe there might be a note or something up here. Dang, no, just another dead raider. All right, well, let's go inside. Into a not broken area. Again, hopefully, 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 into the Brain Tree Medical Center lobby. Let's roll on in and begin our quest. Oh, I'm excited to see lore. I can't wait to find out how the lobotomites got here. And boy, I really hope the all the interior is not is is perfectly fine. <laughs> With my luck, something else is still broken down there somewhere. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping we're good though. Because all I did test was when I came in here and noticed, oh, hey, we have walls again. And then I reloaded. So we'll see. But okay, we now have a new quest here. Attack of the Lobotomites. Hey, they said the name. Investigate the Brain Tree Mental Rehabilitation Center. I should look into what happened in this place. Nifty. Well, we got a lot of dead raiders. A lot of dead raiders. Ooh. Well, it means loot for me. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, his body flopped down. Oh, is that computer working? Ooh. Oh, we do. We got a terminal. All right. Let's, let's look around first. We hear eased muttering, apparently. <laughs> let's look around first. See if there's... Uh... 
what we got on this floor here. Oh, well, we got red for sure. This looks like we got a lobotomite coming in. And yeah, we'll deal with them in a moment. Yeah, I think I might be over. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> I knew they were coming for me, and I still was too focused on looting that they got the drop on me. But yeah, I think I might be a bit too uh, leveled for this area. Hmm. Well, that was some moaning. <laughs> Well, what else you have? Heavy Lamenter armor. Another Cosmic Knife spear. Mega Wolfenite crown! Say what? <laughs> well, I kind of want to take it. I'm going to take that mega... All right, and we are back after the crash you all just saw, though a bit of time has passed for me because off cam, I was trying to replicate the crash and see if it happens in other scenarios because, well, I gotta admit, I am, um, oh boy, between the missing walls outside and the crash we just had looting a lobotomite, I was kind of starting to wonder if I should even continue with this as a series, uh, but... But, after testing, I think we'll just avoid some things because, frankly, I'm too intrigued by why the lobotomites are here and all that to actually give this up as a series. But yes, uh, with some testing off cam, it seems that not every time, but a lot of the time when looting lobotomite things from lobotomites, uh, that seems to crash the game. Looting normal raiders and such in containers seems okay, but lobotomite things from lobotomites seems to be a problem. So, we'll just not? Hopefully we don't have to at some point? Because that'll, that'll be bad, but thankfully I did say it wasn't every time, just a lot of it. So uh, we could always quick save and, uh, you know, roll the dice. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, seriously did contemplate just not continuing this as a series because of all the crashes I was having off camera, mixed with the uh, worry of the outside world. But, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on. We're gonna see where it takes us, where it goes. Because again, I'm just too intrigued about the story for this thing that I need to know, and I shall power through. Though one thing, boy, I almost forgot entirely, was that we have this terminal right here. Uh, so that's what we're gonna start with uh, here. Now that we're back from the crash, let's uh, have a look at this and see what all is, uh, what all we may learn from it before we continue downward to our actual goal here of uh, investigating the Braintree Mental Rehabilitation Center. I mean, this technically is a part of investigation, so uh, boom, into Lobby Terminal. Let's go see what you got. All right, welcome Error, Brain Network, logged in as user Error. Okay, we got like a lot of weird Error things and then not Error-ish things. Okay, well, what do we got here? Is this just, this is just pati all the patients. Okay, okay. Which makes me wonder, is this going to be all the patients we're going to be encountering when we go downstairs? Huh. Wow, that's a lot of patients. Uh-huh. And what about this list? More patients. And then whatever this is. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, also, I figured that was, like, an error code, like, up here, but we actually do have January 77 on there, October 77. Huh. So these might be date timestamps, perhaps? Well, what is this Swamp Sharks? Well, pardon, XX Swamp Sharks XX. <laughs> what the balls? <laughs> We finally found some place that is not entirely fucking flooded. How this place survived is beyond me. I guess this was made like a bunker or some shit. It's a bit run down, but it's still got power and it's safer than, from rat storms than camping. Looks like things are looking up again for the swamp sharks, baby. <laughs> I assume that was the raider gang who are all now dead. They called themselves the swamp sharks, huh? Boy, all right. Granted, I had the same thought about this building, you know, for what actually survived of it outside. <laughs> How is it not flooded in the middle of a swamp? But oh well. Oh well. Raiding hotspots for the swamp sharks. <laughs> it's such a... Alright, Quincer, gunners everywhere. Avoid. Somerville Place, primo fucking location, or well, primo, I guess. Except there's only like five dudes there. Unprotected, though. 
West, Glowing Sea, avoid it if you don't want to be a Radscorp food. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Somerville would be that primo of a spot, considering the low population. I mean, you can only take so much <laughs> for what appears to be a much larger gang, considering all the raider bodies we found here. All right, well, help. That's a, that's a lot of fucks. <laughs> Terminal enable defenses. Enable. Enable. Run program defenses. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Wait, what defenses? We haven't noticed any so far, have we? I mean, again, like I said, it's actually been a little bit of time. A fair few hours since uh, earlier's recording when it crashed. Uh, we didn't encounter any, any turrets, did we? I don't remember them. I mean, I also don't see any, but... We should have been shot if we would have. Oh, oh well. well, let's continue onward. Gun out for potential other lobotomites. You know, I'm also, even though I, like I said with the testing, you know, looting raiders seem fine, I'm still so paranoid whenever I loot anything right now, which is an awful thing for a loot whore. <laughs> I'm sitting here every time wondering, if I press E, will it all go away? No, we're good, we're good so far. All right, now we're back there to go. What do we got here? Ooh, more dead man. Oh, right, right, right in the mouth. Oh, actually, no, that's on the table, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Ooh, an assassin cosmic knife. You know, we didn't seem to have any problems with looting things that are outside of the inventories. I'm kind of intrigued by the difference between the assassin one. Let's quick save just in case. We're good. <laughs> I am so paranoid now. <laughs> Uh, a lot of technical documents in this place. Jesus. All right, yeah, let's go take a look at those knives. So just the normal cosmic knife and then an assassin cosmic knife, which apparently is worse. Huh? <laughs> I mean, it's lighter, I guess. Boring. Oh, well. I'm going to drop it. I only need one cosmic knife that I'll never use. <laughs> All right, got another dead raider. Whoop. Lobotomite giggler, huh? And a gimp. <laughs> I mean, I don't seem to be up here. It sounds like they're below us. I'm, I mean, obviously from the icon on our compass. Hello, body. You know, I actually should. Am I currently sporting? Yeah, I'm currently sporting the grenades. We've been picking up a lot of molotovs from these guys. Let's switch over to those. Potato, got some bullets. Uh, nothing of value. Is there anything on this dude? Take that stem. Oh, some fusion cores in there. Nifty. All right, looks like we go. Yeah, down this way. Well, this doesn't. This doesn't seem safe at all. <laughs> this does not seem like a path I would like to take. Ooh, a husk. So we got husks, gigglers, and gimps at the moment, it would seem. Hmm. Yeah, this seems very unsafe. Definitely not OSHA certified. All right, we can go down there, but it looks like we also have a thing here. Also, quick save. I'm so paranoid about crashes that even without looting. Oh, and screamers. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, guys. Why aren't they red? They seem like they should be red. Oh, well, there's the giggler. Well, he is red here. I mean, might as well then. Wow, also level one. Yeah, I think I'm very over leveled for this place. <laughs> Ooh, an eliminator. <laughs> oh, there went the giggler. <laughs> all right, that guy's a little tougher. Oh, the other one ran this way, but didn't make it all the way. We got another screamer. Boy, they're just slasher there. Wait, was that a courser on the ground? Dead behind him? Uh, that looks like a courser body. Can they not path their way over this? Oh, oh, hey, that one has a gun. Oh, die, husk. Wow, I missed a lot of shots there. Yeah, okay, okay, well, we got them. Hi. That's a lot of dead lobotomites. Quick save. All right, time to look at the bodies. Avoid looting, though. <laughs> Don't need that. I'll 
take the stim. Oh, I want those caps. Salient green, citrus orange crayon, a broken photon axe. Oh, we have another screamer around. Boy, he's really, really loud too of a screamer. Hmm. Got his heart. Saturnite injected spinal replacement. Ooh. No. Again, like with the Saturnite forks and stuff, that just seems like a waste of Saturnite to make plates. Oh well. I mean, I'm definitely gonna look at them. Oh, but I want the ammo. Uh, quick save and roll the dice. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I did say earlier, my testing seemed to be if I take lobotomite things off of lobotomite corpses. But still, I am I am paranoid to take anything. <laughs> it's just... Uh, what do we got down here? Uh, some doors. Ooh, fusion cells. Ah, do a garden cafeteria area. Hey. Right. Empty crayon box. Another set of doors to living quarters. Anything else back here? God, a lot of frag grenades. All right, let's go take a look at this. Is this a courser? Holy crap, it is! It's got an investigation report. I'll take those synth relay grenades. Heck yeah! I'm gonna hold off on you because I don't, I don't know. I feel like this may trigger something. So let's not. I'll come back. We'll come back. Let's just remember he's there. And there's our thing. Uh, we, oh, God, hi! Oh, that's where that screamer went to. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the bottle caps. Investigate the mainframe terminal. All right, well, we'll do that in a moment. Yeah, I want to check out that body, though, first. Oh, oh, hi! No, stay down. No, no living for you. <laughs> Two hairbrushes, huh? Weird. What hair? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What do we have back here? Ah, so there's where the elevator came down. Yeah, nothing of value there. A uh, lot of dead raiders. Damn, this these swamp swamp sharks were uh quite the large group of people. Dang, they had a lot of <laughs> a lot of people. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. There we go. There's some defenses there. Oh, we have a little way back this direction. You know, I always love and hate whenever there's a locked door like this. <laughs> really? Just reach your hand around. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me, game? Okay, okay. Let's do... do, do no. Back this way? There we go. That's it. The most useless locked door ever. And another value there. Oh, of course! Oh, that was a big boom. <laughs> was there like some stuff in there? I don't know, but damn. That was a real big explosion. Oh, there we go. I'm free. I thought I was stuck for a moment. Okay, utility and storage area. All right, so we got a number of different other zones to go to and staff rooms. All right, all right. Let's go check the synth body, and then we'll check that. Also, just quick save, just in case. All right, R6-01 investigative report. Uh, da -da -da -da. Gotta go down to R's. Yeah, most... There he is. You know, after the last bit where we the last series where we had them all clumped together. Dang. <laughs> Alright, log entry 001. Orman has filed a special request for this unit to assist in investigating the marshlands area south of Quincy, designated Site Gamma. After a retrieval, team G2187 went MIA. Retrieval team was investigating a long-range radio signal, possible pre-war technology, on a suspected pre-war space satellite crash site. Expected manageable hostilities in the area, escorted by synth unit 
those. ETA, three hours. All right, log entry two. Reach site Gamma, last known location of the team. Bodies not located yet. Reason for delay, failure unknown. Locations seem to be a pre-war mental asylum that has managed to stand despite the location. Additionally, dead locals have been spotted around the area. Possible culprits deeper inside the facility. Following secondary task, B1 assigned by Ormond. We will look into the rogue teleportation signal, the what? Huh. Administrator room seems to emit a stronger signal strength, indicating the crash satellite might be nearby. Administration doors are locked and administrator privileges needed to lift the maglocks. We will now investigate for a way to interact with the mainframe to unlock the doors. All right, so we got some corrupted things. Mm -hmm. Another corrupted entry here. It's hoping maybe we might see something, but no. All right, corrupted or non-corrupted entry, log entry number four. Locals found to be extremely hostile. They seem to be cybernetically enhanced like coursers, but with technology I've never seen before. Mass casualties reached both K290 and J828 are killed in action and have lost visual on them. I have sustained heavy damage and my relay and comm systems and the ones of K290 and J828 appear damaged or non-responsive, possibly scrambled by the satellite signal attempting retreat through the main entrance, possible shut down imminent. Well, yeah, you died. Alright, so the Institute came here to uh, check things out, and it did not go well for them. Alright. I mean, anyone else around here? Let's... There's another corpse? Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, investigate the corpses, plural. I was about to say, did, when we got closer, did it just trigger something that we should have investigated with him? Huh. But there's no other icons for that, so... You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Because I, I have a feeling it, it's about this coarser body. <laughs> We're gonna put his tape back? Oh, ah, uh, yeah, I can. It's quest item. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> this was supposed to be a part of that optional thing. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that optional bit's never triggering. All right, let's check around here, though, for other stuff. Which worries me a little bit. Okay, fair enough. What are you going to do? The other corpses are just normal. There's the maglock doors. We got a hole here. Clearly that's where we're gonna be heading. Oh, normal synth. Okay. All right. Nifty. Oh, another one here. Okay, well, let's check out you, I guess. The brain. Hmm. Did you really notation? Automated interdigitalization network. Security alert. Look for a way to disable brain's lockdown. Okay, okay. Administration has initiated a containment lockdown for this facility. All security staff maintain site integrity until further instructed by executive personnel. Auxiliary power status on, admin override disabled. All right, so we got to find a way, which apparently is down. Of course. Yeah, I still feel like that optional bit for the body was supposed to have been him since that holotape's a, a quest item. <laughs> but I think this is a good place to end. I don't remember how long we were playing before with uh, before the crash. Uh, and so I uh, don't want to go too long. I think we should be around about a half hour now. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. But clearly next episode we'll go down there. I may actually go back to... Actually, when was the quick save? Was it before I looted that body? Why did I go into the pit, boy? Let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, yeah, it was before the body. It was before the body. Let's load that and see if the investigate body thing is that. Let's go find out. One, if it is. Oh, thank God. That'll be great. Yep. Okay, let's get close. Investigate. Yep. Called it. <laughs> All right. 
There we go. We got the optional element. Wonderful. Okay, and with that, now it's going to be the end of the episode. I'll go back through and loot all the corpses again. And then next time, we will head down into the bowels of this uh, mental asylum to see what's what and figure out if we can get that lockdown turned off. But until next time, oh, there we go. We triggered the optional thing. We had to read them all again. Wonderful. But until next time, thank you for watching. And as always, we'll have a good one.